Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to show you one of the most common mistakes that newbies do when they use AllExcept as a calculate modifier. AllExcept, like all the functions that belong to the all family, all the functions that start with all, has a dual nature. It can be used as a calculate modifier or as a table function. Mostly, all except is used as a calculate modifier to remove all the filters from a table except for some columns. The thing is, you can obtain the same behavior using two different techniques. You can use all except or you can use remove filters and values. Remove filters and values is safer and it is the suggested technique. All except is powerful, it can be used, but you need to understand exactly how it works, because there are few scenarios where it is actually useful, and we will not go there. My goal is to show you exactly how all except works with the filter context, and we will do by writing a simple percentage calculation together. We warm up by writing the code and understanding how it works, then we will start using all except. Later, we will look at uh, how the formula might produce inaccurate results uh, in specific scenarios and how the pair remove filters and values actually solves the problem. Let's get started. I have uh, this report that contains uh, the sales amount sliced by continent and then country. And what I want to create is a measure that computes the percentage of uh, the individual country against the total of the continent. In order to do that, I need to get rid of the filter from the country in order to leave the filter on the continent. So, let's do that together. Let's create a new measure, a bit larger, and we call it percentage over continent. We need to divide the sales amount in the current country, let's take France as an example, so 409, divided by 3.5 million. So we want a first variable, selected sales, which is just the sales amount. Then we need the sales amount of Europe. And to do that, we get rid of the filter from the country. So the continent sales require us to use calculate. We compute the sales amount and we remove filters. We remove the filter from a customer country. Finally, it's a matter of dividing one by the other. So we can create another variable, result, which is just the division of the selected sales divided by the continent sales. And then we return the result. This code works just fine. We can hit enter, format it as a percentage, and then we place it in the report. You see, it's working. Australia shows 100% because uh, it's uh, the only country in the continent, whereas France shows 11.48%, which is the division of 409 divided by 3565. This formula works fine, but it's not perfect. We can do better than that, because in order to retrieve the percentage over the, the, the sales amount of the entire continent, we got rid of the filter on the country. Therefore, this measure works only if we are slicing by continent and then by country. Indeed, if instead of using the country, I use the state, let's get rid of the country and place the state here, you see that the measure doesn't work. It shows 100% anywhere because it's removing a filter on the country. There is no filter on the country and it's not removing the filter from the state. So it's not perfect. We want something different. We want a measure that removes any filter from the customer except from the, uh, continent, from the continent. And we can obtain this behavior if instead of using remove filters, we use all except. All except removes any filter from the first argument, customer in our case, except for the, not for the country, but except for the continent. So with uh, remove filters, we state what we want to remove. With all except, we state what we want to keep as a filter. If we use all except customer, customer continent, the only filter remaining will be the continent. 
state, country, all the other fields will be gone. And if I hit enter now, you see that uh, it, wor it works. It shows uh, for Europe uh, and for North America different states with their percentage. Now let's go back to our previous version where instead of the state we have the country, so we have fewer rows to look at. And let's expand for example Europe. The measure works fine, but it suffers from a major drawback. Look what happens if I remove the continent from the report. So right now it's showing that France is 11.48% over the grand total. If I remove the filter from the continent, let's get rid of it, you see that France now shows 3.32%, which is way less than 11.48 that we had earlier. So the formula works if and only if we place the continent in the report. That is not a good idea. The formula is fragile, so we want to build a better formula. But in order to build a better formula, we need to understand exactly why it doesn't work. Because uh, we need to understand uh, what all except does, why the filter on the continent is no longer there, and why uh, the, the number that we see is wrong. So first we need to understand what number we are seeing, how it is computed, why all, all except doesn't work, and finally we will be able to fix the problem by using a different version of the code. So, first of all, what is this number? 32, 3.32. You could do the math, but 332 is 409 divided 12 million. So at the denominator, my formula is not computing uh, the uh, sales amount of only Europe, but it's computing the sales amount of uh, the other world without no filter. Why that? Well, let's see what happens at the filter context. Let's focus on uh, the scenario where it works first. Let me place again the continent here on the rows, expand Europe, and we see France. When we are in this cell, we show 11.48%, which is the correct number. We have a filter context that contains uh, the country, France, and the continent, Europe. So in our code, when we compute the numerator, sales amount, is the sales amount of France in Europe. Before we have calculate, we have a filter context that contains Europe for the continent and France, France for the country. Then calculate wakes up. Calculate calls all except. And all except goes to the outer filter context and says, hey, I'm gonna get rid of all the filters from the customer except for the continent. The first filter is on the continent, so it's gonna be, it's gonna stay there, it's untouched. The second filter is on the country, so this part of the filter context will be removed. Therefore, inside calculate, we have a filter context that contains Europe because we removed France and Europe was left. Therefore, this is the sales amount of Europe and everything is working fine, exactly as we expected. What happens when the calculation doesn't work? To see that, we get rid of the continent and we see that we have 332. Now, the scenario is different because we have a filter context that only contains France. So our code starts Outside of calculate, we have only a filter that says France. There is no filter on the continent. Calculate wakes up. Calculate calls all except. And all except will take the outer filter context, make a copy of it. And then it removes any filter on the customer except filter on the continent. It turns out that there are no filters on the continent. Therefore, uh, all except gets rid of any filter from the entire filter context. And with an empty filter context, the sales amount becomes the sales amount of the entire world. There are no longer any filter. So in order to fix the problem, what we need to do is make sure that even though we have only a filter for France, we still place a filter on the continent. And we need to actively do that. We cannot just rely on all except because all except has the power of removing filter. It doesn't have the option of creating new filters. That is why we will do two different steps. 
first, we kill all the filters from the customer table, including the one on the continent. But then we place a new filter on the filter context that contains the currently selected continent. That is why we need two different functions, remove filters and values. Let's do that together. As I said, we cannot use all except. What we need to do is do two steps. First of all, remove filters. Remove filters from customer will get rid of any filter from the customer. Now, how can we retrieve uh, the currently selected continent? We use the cross-filtering feature of Power BI. We do have a filter for France. France is a country and France is cross-filtering the continent. So if uh, we query for values of customer continent, values of customer continent is evaluated in a filter context that includes France. Therefore, the only continent that will be returned is Europe. So we remove all the filters and we restate the filter on the continent. This version of the code works even if we do not have the continent in the report. You see that now France is showing 11.48% and it works regardless of whether we have or not the continent in the report. If we expand Europe, France has the correct value. If we get rid of the continent, France still has the correct value. Generally speaking, whenever you need to remove all the filters from a table except for a column, using this pattern is actually better. Values works if you have only one column. If you have multiple columns, you can use summarize. You can use summarize customer by customer continent. And if you need further column from the customer table, you can specify them further. Right now, I just want to show you that using summarize customer continent works the same way as it works with values. As you have seen, when you use all except, you remove all the filters from a table except for some columns. The thing is, all except works fine as a calculate modifier in a scenario where you have a filter on the column that you are uh, pre preserving. If there are no filters on the column that you want to preserve, then all except is not going to work because all except as a calculate modifier can only remove filters. It does not have the option of creating new filters. If you want to be on the safe side, it is better to explicitly remove the filters with remove filters and use values or summarize to restore the correct filter. That is a very common mistake that I often see when newbies write code in DAX. And that is one of the reasons why I think it's really important if you are planning to work extensively with DAX to spend a lot of time on theory. Whenever you have a problem with your code, you always need to go back to the basics, understand the filter context, understand how the modifiers in Calculate are changing the filter context in order to create a new one. And once you have completed that exercise, only at that point, you will have a better understanding of how to create your code in a solid way. Enjoy DAX.